Coming out of the Cotswold uh, Forage Start Box comes Will's Oaks, number two, with Art Clay Puissance, the horse owned by Catherine Wilkinson and Rachel Wood. alternative there if riders want to take it but they take the direct route and now on that long gallop down to the brush stump next on course is rider number three this is great britain's kylie roddy with the earl gray tea party goers 16 year old Carden earl gray and they bring forward a dress of 33.9 and jump the paul roger flat w jenkinson lumber yard takes the most direct route through there and that saves a huge amount of time. If you go the long way there, need to twist and turn left to right. But he's gone the quick way and now really got his foot on the accelerator as he comes down the hill towards uh, the Duke's table at 19. And our first one home is uh, Mr. Gary Parr's 10 year old PSA John Core with uh, Amy Penny. We'll let you know how close they are to the optimum time. Very short.
Will's out then. Next fence for him with the Blenheim uh, Bird's Nest Second last, that's the Stick Parlour Angled House. So they've just got the Paul Roger Champagne finale. And they clear that, and it'll be interesting to see where we are on the time there. You remember, 10.37 is the optimum time. Well, Cardinal Gray, a six-year-old, takes the stride out of that big long... Now we have the time for Wills Oak to the Narco Puissance inside the time. 10.24, so that's our first combination inside the time. So they remain on their dressage score of 36.9. Cardinal Gray taking another stride out of that big canal turn fence. Uh, and Cardinal Gray running on to the A.W. Jenkinson Lumber Yard at 18. Furthest part of the course where there's a big log table. And then on to the mounds. A log on the mound. And the second mound at B, C and D. And safely out over E. So good jumping there from this uh, 16 year old Cardinal Gray and Kylie Roddy. Next to go will be uh, Georgie Goss with uh, Lucy Fleming, Nikki Coopers and Suzanne Doggett's uh, Philoop, 12-year-old mare. Georgie, who was in the Young Rider Europeans for Great Britain in 2007, 8 and 9, won two team gold medals in that time. And she's away over the Paul Rojo flag. Dress has scored 31. Cardinal Gray jumps the Duke's table. And now at the Blenheim Bird's Nest Combination Rail Ditch and safely over the Bird's Nest at 20C. Georgie Goss in the main arena over those two. Germany, Valian Hansen, Hodrop on the Carlitas Quidditch K with a score of 24.6. Tiny second, uh, Pepper Funnel with MGH Grafton Street there on 26.3. And Gemma Stevens, uh, Nate Hassel, Jalapeno, equal second, also on 26.3. A.W. Jenkinson, Lumberyard, again, takes the direct route as all the others have to save the Many for this 10-year-old game changer, written by United States of America's Grace Taylor. So they've got a long gallop now to, to brush stuff at 11. Georgie Gunn's nicely through the uh, Lenin Bird Test combination at 20. Next to go is uh, Tom Rowe, and he's riding Michael Wilmhurst and Alex Clark. Hey, Andy, Steel Pulse, press 35.7. country tomorrow he's completed that last year so Alexander Bragg and our premier come to the third the uh, Esme parallel rails where they're clear
Come round, 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 over the first and uh, Ballas uh, Cup Cadet Picnic Table Fence at two. Safely down over that big ditch lock through the River Glen for the second time and out over Target Feeds Flower Table. Alexander Bragg and Thank you. 
Tom Grant and Penhill's Optimax are through the Equilate combination at 12. So crossing the drive now and they'll climb up that hill to the Indiba roll top at 13. Alpha Voyager and Alexander Hill jumps four and the Danny Walker stirrups fly up.
Okay, the manager explained where I can plan and train incentive. off the uh, second of those time penalties to complete the two days on 83.6. Althea Bleakman, meanwhile, down, will be uh, very soon at the uh, Equiladic combination at 12. Duke's table awaits for Lucy at 19. Lizzie Barr in the arena clears the two NFU mutual Andrew Hedges. Althea Black and Black uh, struck the third last. And she uh, now goes to the stick pile level house. That's the last combination on the course. Water. Water. And the, 
Next to go. Robert Nemo Brooks, San Solo, 13 years old, first time here at Blenheim. Nemo Brook over the second now with San Solo. Yeah, Bentley lock brushes. So splash through the water now towards the brush shoulder and then that steep climb up the hill to the Jockey Club water at 16. San Solo and Emma Brook really, really bold jumps through the Brookfields a question. Combination at four, now she's through the Daddy Walker stirrups as well. Lizzie Four jumps the leap of faith at the ditch log before going back to the uh, river for the second time. Tip Chaffings and Gaston, no problems for them through the Jockey Club water. They do take a flag with them from the skinny on the way out, but now head to the furthest point on the track, the A.W. Jenkinson Lumber Yard at 18. Emma broke through the NFU mutual hedges at 7 and 8, while Lizzie Moore just has one to go. And she clears the last. That's the Borogé Shampoo finale. The new starter is uh, New Zealand's Jesse Campbell. Away from the start box with Jay Jeffers. Thank <laughs> you. 
need one more. Yeah. <laughs> I've taken it off my video. The gray horse, like really. Class Cooley and Will Zoughton have just the Paul Rocher finale. Champagne fence are 26 between them and the clock. Jack Schrader and Casino 80 away. Marin, uh, who's just uh, finished, she's uh, going to retain the lead on this second day. Germany never won here before. Dirk Schrader. He's uh, set out with great purpose with Casino 8. He clears the second, the Barris Club Cadet picnic table. Well, Stephanie Schramscher. Love 
she actually, that really Mummy said you could have the lollies. Yeah. Emily, where's your six? Sam Gillespie, uh, but not in a really steady time around the cross country course. I'm 23 by six time, but it's very jumpy penalty this thing. So they carry forward to the final phase. Two phase score of 58.6. Well, uh, Alex Holman and Carrick Diamond Bar have uh, survived the Bentley Long Rush of that 14. They're through the water and out over the ankle thrust shoulder. Climbing up the hill to the new Jockey Club Water at 
Canal turn brush first, nicely over that. And new yeah, starter is yeah. number 75. Can put something on the tree. This is Emma Thomas. Oh, She's strapped on Evans. Yeah. Yeah.
That's at four. Woodlands me daring just does just that at the air question. Bust brushed up huge uh, big jumps with Sasha Hargreaves. Now runs down the hill, but Equilati, the second element of the triple rail, they have a run out there, so there's 20 penalties for Sasha Hargreaves and Woodlands be daring at 12 feet. Now a second run out there. Thomas Martin and Ecuador, in fact, uh, parted company at the uh, parallel rails at three, and therefore, of course, that means that they're eliminated, but they're both absolutely fine. Score for Valerie Viscarondo Pride and Fabian, they had a time of 11-11, which gives 13.6 time penalties, but they were also given 15 penalties for missing, uh, missing a flag and continuing. So problems continue for uh, Balenska and Kulrock clearly picking up 20 at 12 and a further 20 just coming into the riverside there at the Bentley Log Brush 14B.
Amy Fanny and Pierce H. Gazelle going to the second last now. The stick pile on the angled house. They've had a, a nice round there and get the line right through that final combination. Sponsored flower table at 22. Samantha Lessington and Big Box for New Zealand. We're now ahead behind the trade stand area towards the air equestrian brush stump at 11. CFH Archie and Ginny Hyther now for the parallel rails of three. This combination competed in the eight year old class uh, just last year. And uh, so Ginny herself had over right up to Brennan. Equestrian combination at four, jumping wise, but have been uh, provisionally awarded 15 penalties for a flag infringement. But uh, they now move on towards the uh, 
entry hedges at seven and eight. Big jump over the uh, second hedge. And out of the arena, they go towards the Naftricana country for an overnight score of 35.6. Jeff Archie over the juice table. And the uh, first element of the Brendan Bird's Nest jumps the rail, clears the ditch, and is out over that Bird's Nest at 20 A, B, C, and D.
receive it to the Jalapenos. Safely through the Jockey Club water at 16. So on they go towards the furthest point on the course. Over the Jockey Club canal turn cross. Corner in the middle there, 16 B, and uh, well up right there. Decided to call it a day, so they've retired and walking back and forth. Well, well, Zogden and THI by design, away from the Palace Arena. So Wills Oakton, DHI by design, safely home. We'll bring you their uh, provisional score as we get it. But, uh, important to note for those of you still out on the cross-country course, the last horse is on course. We would ask you uh, to please stay outside the ropes and away from the cross-country fences. Even when the last horse is home, we do have a very important day of competition still to come on the cross-country tomorrow both the ground and the fences in perfect competition order. So please, we would really appreciate your cooperation in staying outside the ropes and away from the cross-country 